Hello everyone, myself Jay Kiriba, Assistant Professor of BCom CA, School of Commerce. I am from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchamboda. Today, let us discuss about Capital Market Unit 4. SEBI, Security Exchange Board of India. What is SEBI? SEBI stands for Security Exchange Board of India. The SEBI was first founded in the year of 1988 by the government of India. SEBI was statutory power in 1992. SEBI, the regulation of security market in India. SEBI regulation. SEBI does not. SEBI debit security regulation was formulated in Mumbai on 6th June 2008. The offer the document shall contain all the materials discloses which are necessary for the subscribing of debit securities to take an informative information decision. Meaning, what is SEBI? SEBI is Security Exchange Board of India in one of the regulation authority of capital and derivative market in India. Under the ownership of Ministry of Finance, Government of India, it was established on the year 12th April 1988 and given statutory power on 13th January 1992, the SEBI Act 1992. Objectives of a SEBI The primary objective of a SEBI is to promote the healthy and orderly growth of security market and security investor production. The objectives of SEBI are follows. There are four main objectives of SEBI. Regulations of stock exchange in the security market, production to the investor, checking the inside trading, control over the brokers. The objectives of SEBI Act 1992 to protect the investor of investees in the securities to promote the development of security market in India to regulate the security market. Power of SEBI. There are three power of SEBI like quasi judicial, quasi executive, quasi legal, legal statute. SEBI functions. There are three functions of SEBI. Production function, regulatory function, development functions. These are the main functions of SEBI, Security Exchange Board of India. Functions of SEBI. Production. The product, product the investors of to invest and provide safety of investment, development, promote and develop the activities in security exchange and increase in the business in security exchange, regulate, regulatory, the regulate in the business in stock exchange. Thank you. Unit 5. Derivative. What is derivative? A derivative is nothing but a type of financial contract whose value is depends on the underlying assets and group of assets and benchmarks. What is derivative? The term derivative stands for the contract whose price is derivated from or dependent upon the underlying assets. The underlying assets can be financial assets such as currency, stock, stock and market index and interest bearing the security on physical commodities as a derivative are merely contract between two or more parties anything like whether the data or amount of rank can be used in underlying assets there are different types of de uh, financial derivative there are four major types of financial derivatives futures forward options and swaps a future a future is a contract an agreement to buy and sell the asset at the time of future forward a forward are the future contract that does not trade on an open exchange each forward contract is a customs contract between two parties option what is option option is nothing but the stock option gives you the right but not the obligation to buy and sell the stock at the strict price by the explained date of option swap swap or typically used to hang 
time was just rage. There are major two types we used in a derivative market. These are the major types nowadays the customers are using in the derivatives. Forwards. A forward is nothing but a customized contract between two persons where the sta statement take place on a specific data in the future and the price are agreed today. Future. A future is a contract that is traded on a future exchange standard cost of a subject to rule and regulations of a security exchange board of India. These are the major types of derivative which are the customers using in a recent days. Thank you.